Google Stadia was released for a little over a week now. However, its latency and other issues it has really prevent it from being great for fighting games. Here's why. What has happened and Matt made here, lover of fighting games, and I've had my hands on Stadia since it came out, and I've been playing around with Samurai Showdown. Samurai Showdown is one of the games that Google released for free as part of its launch. So I've been playing it, testing it out, and seeing how it was on both the Chromecast Ultra as well as on a PC. Now for the most part, Google Stadia works really well. Most of the time, the latency isn't really noticeable. However, you will see a few hiccups and a few stutters while playing games. Now I do have a pretty solid internet connection, so your experiences may vary. And I know others who also have great internet connections had issues just doing basic things like running, jumping, and doing simple attacks. So this isn't a universal thing. Your own mileage will vary and what you experience will differ from what someone say a few miles away or even down the block may have. Now, while I was playing Samurai Showdown, I noticed all the attacks came out quickly. The inputs were correct for the most part. And when I tried to do something, I was able to pull it off. Now, the inputs being correctly for the most part is still a problem as when you're really in a fight with someone, you need to have all your inputs be correct, be precise, come out on time. Typical things with fighting games that you expect to work locally and you don't even think about otherwise. I'd say I had a success rate of about 90 to 97% of doing what I wanted at any given time. Whether that be a weapon flip or a dodge or a um, deflect, it all worked pretty well and precisely most of the time. However, it's going to be that one time or those couple of times that will make a difference in a fighting game. Because as you all know, you get hit once, that could be half your health. You get hit twice, you're dead. And this issue didn't just happen with the Chromecast Ultra. It happened on PC as well. I'd be fighting somebody and all of a sudden it does a quick little jump. Not anything too drastic, but it'll stutter or even though it's a lag or you input something and that input somehow gets dropped. Things like that. And it's pretty interesting that it doesn't just happen on Chromecast, but your own PC as well. Both of my devices I have hardwired into my internet connection. So there should be no drops, no one's using the Wi-Fi, none of that. It's just me, the internet connection, and the fighting game. Which when you're trying to lab something or when you're trying to learn something, it's pretty unacceptable. On top of that, you can only use the Stadia controller with fighting games. Now, when I jumped into Destiny 2, I was able to use my keyboard and mouse or the controller. However, when I plugged in the fight stick and tried to use it with Samurai Showdown, no such luck. I hit buttons, I tried different things, none of it worked. Couldn't figure it out. Maybe it's on the roadmap, but for those who use fight sticks or are used to fight stick, switching back to a pad isn't gonna work, isn't gonna cut it. Especially if they're like, hey, I wanna go to this tournament and I'm gonna lap some stuff. Now to get used to the game itself running on Stadia, I did play through the single player and jumped into some of the training. And even then I noticed a few hiccups and some stuttering at times. It didn't happen very often, but it happened often enough that I had to take notice of it and I had to mention. So you'd be fighting whatever computer character, cause they all suck. And you'd be like moving back and forth and you just notice a quick little jump or a quick little shift. This is not good. The game is literally running on a server, a box, and just streaming to me. No other concurrent connection, no other person whose internet you have to worry about, just me, my internet connection, and the game. This sucks because any type of packet loss, any type of issue on the way there, on the way back, something's lost. It's not gonna retransmit. It's not gonna roll back. It's gonna do none of that. It's gonna say, well, that didn't happen. And gonna keep going. Which again, you're playing a fighting game. It's all about reaction, reading, and momentum. You mess up like that, you may lose the match just because you're out of it now. You got thrown off, you tilted. Now, when it first came out, when I first got my hands on it and set it up and hopped online, things were great. I played online matches. I had a fair share of people to pick from. I'm like, all right, this person's online, let me fight them. Oh, I see another person, let me fight them. It was smooth. I was enjoying myself. A few days later, played it again. Fewer people. A few days later, played it again. Even fewer people. And then I played it again yesterday, and I could barely find a match. The one match I managed to find. 
one match was like two bars. Felt like we were fighting in slow mo. It was a horrible experience. I didn't even care if I won the match, which I did. I did win, but it felt like crap. And I immediately got offline. I was like, no, the game is already very niche. Samurai Showdown is not like a top tier, high end Mortal Kombat Street Fighter style game. It's SNK and it's not King of Fighters. So many people don't even know the game exists. Like the casual fighting game audience is not gonna know what a Samurai Showdown is. And then you get the game and all the DLC characters aren't even unlocked. I think you had Basara was unlocked and that was it. And you're like, no, no Rimuru? No, uh, Kazuki? None of this? It's just an odd launch. It's an odd game that you get for free, but still have to buy the DLC. I guess it, it is what it is there, but if you're gonna launch a game, I wanna try to make sure you get hooked up with the best. You have all this, this is the first season you get for free, whatever, let's go. Just to give a good impression. And again, I played Destiny 2 for a couple of hours, had people online, didn't notice much lag, didn't know as much input delay. Things were well, things were going great for that game. But hopping to Samurai Showdown and you're noticing the stutters and you're noticing the issues, just like this, you can't, I can't worry about this, this isn't right. And that's already having to deal with the input delay and the frames that are gonna be built into the online anyway. You're gonna have a buffer fighting somebody, you're gonna have different delays depending on the other person's connection. So I have to contend with that, contend with the internet connection, contend with Stadia service, which could be getting hammered at the time. All of that to, is, there are too many variables there. And this is probably the best it's gonna be for the time being, the foreseeable future. It's a great service, interesting piece of tech. It's something they say they could do, but I don't know if it's gonna be around in a year. I don't really own the games. I can't download them anywhere. I can't use a fight stick. There are so many things and so many variables you have to contend with to fight against that I can't even warrant purchasing it. If you have Stadia, cool, but if you were curious in it, that's great. Maybe for a game like Mortal Kombat, which has a larger player base, a larger fan base, You'll be able to find matches, but they're going to be segmented. It's not for crossplay there. You're going to have fight people on Stadia, which many people don't play fighting games already. And you're saying, hey, this many people are going to be playing fighting games on Stadia? It's maybe 10 people. Maybe someone's curious and buys it. They're going to play it for a week and drop it. You have no community there. There's no precedent for this being a, on a streaming service. But I just wanted to give you my experiences with Stadia. I got the Founders Edition. I was very curious about it. I'll probably play around with it more. And if it improves, I'll make an update video. I'll be like, hey, this got better. Hey, there's a community for this. But until then, I can't in good faith just say, hey, this is something that you should look out for. Hey, this is something if you can't afford a console, but have a good internet connection, you should go get it. I can't say that in good faith and be honest about it. So. Right now it is what it is, and if you have a console or if you have a good PC, just buy the game outright. Just buy Samurai Showdown. It's a fantastic game. Buy MK11. It's a fun game that has crazy DLC characters. Sindel just dropped. You can't even get Sindel on Stadia, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Were you interested in Stadia? Were you thinking, even thinking about playing fighting games on Stadia? I want to hear your thoughts. I want to talk to you about it. So. Let me know. And don't forget, if you're a fan of gaming, consider striking that subscribe button and hitting the bell. This is Matt May, and I'll see you in the next video. Yagujube. Nihonme Shobu.
そこやっ Hey! <laughs> 